as we discussed on Monday, Santa can deliver the presents because of a unique machine his community invented. Of course, I'm referring to the Relativity Cloud. Inside it, space and time act differently. Santa sets the parameters to squeeze space and stretch time. He puts himself and the reindeer inside the Relativity Cloud and travels to children's homes. And today, we'll discuss the nanotechnology that Santa uses to grow the presents right under the tree, wrapping and all. I have one question, Dr. Um, Silverballs. That's Silver Bell. Aren't you the famous scientist who visited Santa at the North Pole? As you very well know, I have never met with Santa. Those are rumors. No one knows precisely where Santa's community is located. Not even a scientist who spent a lifetime studying Santa. I beg your pardon? Everyone believes you met Santa. Yes, yes, we all know the rumors. But let's remember that technology has come far. We now have high-speed photography capturing Santa entering fireplaces. The sightings of the sleigh. Through years of painstaking research, my laboratory has pieced together an understanding of Santa's extraordinary methods. Admittedly, I love to have met Santa. But I'm just a humble scientist who would like to be remembered in a small way for unraveling what is really the most important scientific achievement of our time. Now, if you don't mind, can we get on with your question? Well, I'm not sure I understand Santa's nanotechnology. Specifically, what is the difference between molecular reconstruction and molecular deconstruction? Very good. Since our lab work is about the distinction of just this very thing, why don't we proceed? As you have read, the presents are much too heavy to bring on the sleigh, so he grows them under the tree. And he does this using nanotechnology. Historically, the key scientific achievement was to learn how to convert irreversible thermodynamic processes into reversible ones. He did it by molecular reconstruction. So let's demonstrate molecular reconstruction, starting with this simple and innocent snowflake. Lab assistants, initiate the experiment. When any object burns, it undergoes molecular deconstruction, once regarded as an irreversible thermodynamic process. But through the manipulation, a very precise, high-resolution electromagnetic fields, the disordered arrangement of molecules can be guided very precisely into an ordered arrangement. From a disordered pile of anything, what could very well be poo-poo, <laughs> we can reconstruct any crystalline structure, including a simple snowflake. From disorder, we get order! In conclusion, it should be noted that it was once believed that there is no way in heaven or on earth to reverse the disordering of molecules in so-called irreversible processes. But Santa's community, through years of experimentation, proved once again that technology has no bound. That that which was once considered impossible can in fact be possible and change our realities forever. Are there any questions before we leave? Yes, Dr. Silver Bell. Isn't it true that your theory is being ridiculed by Dr. Scrooge Hart? His experiment apparently proved that wormholes don't exist contradicting your theory of molecular reconstruction. Is he ridiculing the worm or reconstruction? Why the worm, sir? Yes, it seems that I do remember reading something about that experiment, but you have to remember that a worm 
with a few exceptions, <laughs> is not a human being. <laughs> but wasn't that the whole basis of Dr. Scoochard's work, sir? The lack of existence of wormholes, and therefore, the invalidation of your theory of how Santa delivers the presents. Dr. Scroogehart is a very sick man. But as a scientist, aren't you the least bit curious about his proof of the impossibility of wormholes? Doesn't this hold any intrigue to you? You are talking about the nonsensical ravings of a lunatic mind. A cynic is a cynic. But, sir... I am a scientist, not a philosopher. The cynic can just prove anything. It's easier to molecularly reconstruct this scalpel than to satisfy the hunger of a cynical mind. But Dr. Scroogehart's work, sir... Dr. Scroogehart's work is doo-doo! I'm not interested in cynics! What concerns me is the logical explanation behind Santa's remarkable work! Oh. Class is dismissed.